Need mock data or essential entries to kickstart your project? Discover how to quickly seed your database with Prisma. In this video, we'll show you how to set up and populate your database effortlessly, making development a breeze. Hi, my name is Alex. I'm a senior software engineer with years of experience in API development. My goal is to help you become a more skilled and proficient developer. Let's get started. I am in Node.js project application where I have Prisma set up. Now let's add some mock data to our database. As usual, the link to the GitHub repo with the code is in the description. And if you would like to learn how to set up Prisma ORM in your Node.js project, check out our video on this topic. First, let's add the Faker.js library as a dev dependency to create sample data. Faker is my go-to library with well-organized documentation available at faker.js.dev. You'll find an extensive API reference there. For example, the person module lets you generate details like bio, first name, full name, and more. It even includes options like specifying gender when generating first name. Faker makes it easy to create realistic data, definitely worth checking out. Let's get back to our project. Next, we'll create seed.ts file in the Prisma folder and add the necessary code. We'll import Faker in Prisma Client, instantiate Prisma Client, and add a helper function to capitalize the first letter of a word. We'll then create an array of user IDs with random UUIDs. In the main function, we'll look through the user ID and create a project for each, with each project having a user ID and capitalized name generated by Faker. Next, I'll add a for loop that will run just twice, creating a task in each iteration. Each task will include a user ID, and if the iteration index i is even, a project ID. Otherwise, it will not have one, allowing the task to optionally link to a project. Each task will also have a name with the first word capitalized, a description generated by Faker, and a due date set to a random date in the future. Finally, I'll call the main function. If it succeeds, I'll disconnect from Prisma, if it fails, I'll log the error, disconnect from Prisma, and exit the process with a code of 1, which is standard practice in case of errors. The seed.ts file is a TypeScript file, but since it's located outside the SRC folder, it won't be included by our main tsconfig.json. The simplest way to enforce TypeScript settings for seed.ts is creating a new tsconfig within the Prisma folder. Let's go ahead and create tsconfig.json in the Prisma folder. In this tsconfig.json, we simply put the code that will extend tsconfig for node 20. Next, in a package.json file, we're going to add a script to run the seeder. But before we do that, if you are learning something new from this video, please like and subscribe to our channel to help YouTube recommend it to more viewers. We'll put db seed, Prisma db seed. Now we need to tell Prisma which file to run and how to run it when we run the command Prisma DB seed. So at the end of the package.json file, let's add the following code Prisma seed ts node Prisma slash seed.ts. This code tells Prisma to run the seed.ts file using ts node. Now all we have to do is to run db seed command with npm run db seed. It looks like the database has been seeded successfully. Let's switch to table plus and check it out. In table plus, after refreshing the projects table, we see that the seeder has successfully created three new projects. Similarly, in the tasks table, we can observe tasks that were generated by the seeder. Some are linked to the projects while others are not. This confirms that the seeding process was completed successfully. That wraps up seeding database with Prisma. Now you are set to quickly fill your database with a sample or essential data to kickstart your project. With our API delivering data, it's time to secure access. Head to the next video in this series to learn all about API authentication and control data access for the right users.